Okay, Gundam, whatever. Uh, so they they did what I thought they would do, and we had a radical shift, and we literally are at a school now. <laughs> I have some problems I said, with this first episode. I I said that after this prologue, we're probably going to be in a school, and we here we fucking are. In the damn school. Yep. So I was right. I don't like to be right about this. However, the characters seem fine. Um, our main character is going by an alias right now for some reason. I guess like hiding I mean, her it makes identity. Sense. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, because you know her people are like prosecuted and killed and prosecuted persecuted dunked on killed and all that nonsense yeah dunked on real bad yeah um the the gundam sick uh, i yeah. i thought the gundam is i thought cool. that that duel at the end was just badass but um outside of that it had some pacing issues <laughs> This man's shilling Snickers. We're not even sponsored by Snickers. Uh, apparently, we should be. But um, the main character is kind of grating right now. Mm hmm. I I understand like the like shy archetype, right? But she's like kicking that thing up to like a twelve out of ten. She. Yeah, she just kind of grates on me. I I think she'll become better as it goes and like open up more and be less like stumbling over her words and little mouse voice, but mm -hmm. only time will tell. Um other than that, uh this series is going to be super gay and I'm here for it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look I, mean, I, I think this show took all the potential of the prologue and threw it in the dumpster. <laughs> fuck. You're this, not wrong. Fuck this first episode. Fuck You're everything it stands for. I don't care. Look, it took a great story. A great first episode, something that was very emotionally, like, that really drew you in. Yeah. And basically just took it, shit on it, and then replaced everything that was good about it with gimmicks. With gimmicks. With fucking anime <laughs> gimmicks. Like, the... The... Okay, alright. I was like, I'll fine. It's out of high school. And yeah, then it was like was my okay. reaction. So for, I was like, okay, fine. It's out of high school. It's like, you know, that stupid fucking anime trope of it's out of high school, uh, whatever. And the anime. And then they're like, oh, we also have to duel. We have like random duels like that. That comes out of nowhere at the time where they're doing character development. And they're like, yeah. yo, there's this random duel that's going to blow out into our classroom and they're like we're having a class right now and two gundams are just fighting in the middle of a space colony a school space colony thing which they didn't really explain and then it it's like an out... academy for uh, pilots right and so they're 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 having a duel and it's and then you know they fight over whatever it is and it finds out that the friend that the main character makes uh, at the beginning of the show is, like, going to be married to this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and so she kind of interjects herself into the situation. And because she wins the duel against this, this person's suitor, she becomes the uh, room of this sort of i don't know if it's it, what her role is exactly she's like some kind of political figure it seems uh possibly like uh I, they didn't really they she, like she's, she's the daughter it. of the chairman right 
Like, the whole, like, big, like, academy thing, she is the daughter of, like, the whole leader of the academy. Right. Um, so since she wins this duel against this guy, she became, she becomes the groom. That means that she's going to ma marry, the, marry the chairman's daughter. So it just sneaks in the gayness in there. Which is fine. I mean, there was there was overtones like the whole time they were talking, but whatever. It's awesome. Whatever. It's 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 uh it's landmark kind of stuff, right? Like, Gundam hasn't really had gay characters. Gundam hasn't really had like a main character female pilot. Like, which is Gundam's which, which... just kind of like in overdrive for like boom, boom, boom. We gotta hit all these check marks, <laughs> which would be fine. Okay, it's and it is fine. It's just that it like it like almost thinks it did something. That's fair. It almost thinks it did something because it's Gundam. It's like, well, now we're gay, and it's like I don't give a fuck. It's like I don't care. I don't care. It's it's at a stupid school. There's gonna be mm -hmm. a whole fucking like you know. There's gonna be a whole arc, or the first like two or three episodes are gonna be about them dueling about dumb shit. Or, even worse, if the whole thing's about them dueling over dumb shit, and it just becomes like a battle anime, which I hope to god it doesn't, you know, I assume it's gonna be like Gundam, where they're just gonna sneak a war in there somehow, you know, um... Well, the thing is, is, um, at the ending of this first episode, one of the characters actually reacted to Gundam Ariel, and it's like, wait, is that a Gundarm? And he like looked it up. He's like, "Yeah, no, this is this is a freaking Gundarm." So I think they might actually try to like take her Gundam away, or you know, expel her from the academy the fact... because she has like forbidden technology. Right. And the fact that she's made it this far somehow as a teenager without anybody noticing her, undetected with this like great technology, doesn't make any sense. Well, she she basically went from Mercury to the Academy. This was like her first like venture out. She was basically saying, and and they let her take that with her. They were like, cool. With I mean, they, 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 they didn't look it it's, over. They it's just, hers. They, they she's didn't... the she's the only one that can pilot it. Remember, it was killing everyone else. I can't think of a more privileged like sort of situation where just a bunch of teenagers get to control some Gundams. <laughs> true like i don't it's kind of like the teenage fantasy over here like i don't think i don't there's there was literally nothing about this episode that made me think i want to watch more of this i i it made me angry that it took everything great that the the prologue did and just dunked all all over it with tropes mm -hmm. i thought it fucking sucked um, i think it's not it's not terrible it's just it's like an anime fan's episode it's like yeah. oh you like anime okay you like tropes all right well we're gonna twist yeah. we're gonna make a twist out of it and it's like can you just just make a make a good show just just make a good you you had everything you needed yeah i don't know i'm not feeling it i i think it still can be a good show i think they're what they're trying to do is just kind of like set up like what's happened in the world like in like the 10 years or whatever later that we're at right now. Right. And so it's, so we're probably going to shift away from the Academy after a few episodes or maybe literally next episode. If she, you know, she has to escape with her Gundam, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I'm not super sold in the first episode. The animation was gorgeous. I will give it that. The animation budget for this Gundam is very high. Like they they they're putting a lot of money and a lot of like hope into this Gundam project as like a next hit kind of thing. Like I I do think that the the budget and every, like the animation was great and obviously the story isn't terrible, it's serviceable, but like just it just took like I am just so disappointed in the show. That's yeah, that's fair. 
I think it was it was a bait and switch, just like I said. It, it was, was a bait and switch. <laughs> And any faith that I had in the show now is I'm just waiting for it to hit, just straight hit the dumpster. It could. It, yeah. I, I mean, I'm going to give it another couple episodes because I generally give an anime like four ish episodes to see like what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping it can just like pull itself back up and give me like an interesting story. Like, I'd also love to see like the mom again because apparently she's probably alive since they talk about her but other than that we just kind of got nothing other than a really cool gundam fight well i guess there wasn't much of a fight really she just straight up slaughtered her opponent like yes. never stood a remote chance it was the most unfair duel i've ever seen <laughs> i i just hated the whole like the whole like i'm a nervous teenager turned into yes. like i am also very, a badass like i'm a badass at the same time i've grown up fighting i was a little girl you know like a scene but more she's not a, a badass kid. though is the thing like well, she hasn't really when she gets inside the gundam she is well sort of kind of this is, this is what well, i mean we, we she... saw her inside the gundam and she was she was still like kind of like kind of like mousy right but still mm. but she had more i guess she was more comfortable inside the gundam i guess yeah. i should say which i mean makes sense because which it, allowed her to actually talk properly right that's what i'm saying is like she she becomes herself when she's inside the gundam she's at home yeah you yeah, know what i mean at home and because she grew up with the gundam like she, she said I, like oh I, yeah ariel and i grew up together and i was like oh okay <laughs> i'm just completely disappointed in, in the show as of right now that's 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 and that's a valid point it's, I it's fair i don't think like i don't think i would have a problem with it if i just saw the first episode but it's because i saw the prologue that because, i am yeah. mad about it and i mean the prologue was fantastic i don't i feel like this is a slap in the face tonality wise to it's like tonal whiplash yes yeah we went from like assassinations to oh, high school oh, they're in high gundam school. academy fuck you fuck you for but doing i think that. we're gonna have more assassination stuff because just... there's like groups yeah. moving within the academy and we're probably gonna end up like with some big like political bullshit of different like warring factions within the academy yeah that that i mean i did kind of see the potential of them you know especially with i don't think they're going to spend much time at the academy i think they're going to maybe i don't the, think so I think either. at the max they're going to be there maybe three episodes before shit goes sideways it could be like two, possibly maybe two, like yeah. next and by that i mean i'm counting the first episode i i think <laughs> you know i think they're they're my guess is you know uh as soon as they're, you know, something's going to happen, the Academy's going to get blown up, you know, somebody's going to, yeah. and then the war's going to, you know, kind of happen. It could happen. Who knows? Because yeah. I think they're going for a darker tone show, and this was more of like, kind of like a cleanser before shit hitting the fan. Like, because once people realize that Gundarms are back or around again, mm -hmm. it's probably going to create a lot of tension. I also don't like the whole idea of like, oops, you're gay. <laughs> I don't like that as a plot point, you know, um, like she's just like, well, you're my you're my suitor now. And it's like. All right, you know, uh, I thought it was fine. I, I think it's stupid because this is also again, this is supposedly the, the uh, universal century. Which mm -hmm. I everything to me implies that it's not. You know, um, mm. it, it doesn't seem like it is, and uh, I'm not, I just, it just does not set the pace for anything good. It, it's, it, it honestly sets everything up to be a dumpster fire. Uh, so, it could go two what ways would your this. rating be? Like, like a three. <laughs> this. Like a three. A three. Yeah. That's kind of where I was feeling you'd be. I'm I'm at like a five. I I want to see where I, they're going with I could, things. Like I could I'm just I could I'm just confused. I feel baited and abused. Yeah, like like if if they didn't if they didn't take my um 
impression of the show and play with it and my you know uh as much as they did i don't think i would have a problem but it doesn't feel like they respected anything that the prologue did not yet yeah like it's one of those things where it's it's like a horror like it's not that it's going to be a bad show it's just that it's a horrible first episode 